Hello and welcome to another episode of Poke Openings. It's been a while, um, it's been a like month or two I think, and today I am back again with Scarlet and Violet packs. So if you saw the last one, you'll know that I pulled quite a few secret rares. So today I thought I'd give her another go, see what I can pull, because I am actually missing quite a few cards from the set. So, you know, I thought... Hey, I'll try and run that up. So, today we have a triple pack uh, with a Dodonzo promo. And we've got something I've never opened before, which is a booster bundle. Uh, there's six packs. So, I'm going to put that to the side for a second and we'll open the triple packs first. So, as you can see in the background there, we do have the purple uh, thing from the Scarlet and Violet ETB I opened in the last episode. So I'll keep that there to kind of lean um, any really good pulls we get at the back. Uh, so I'll just pull those out, put that to the side. So we have a very, unfortunately slightly warped Dodonzo promo. Very cool. Um, I'll put him in the background in a second. Uh, we've got a code card, which I'll be using myself. And we've got three packs. So, uh, tell you what, I'm going to open all of, uh, all of the things and then we'll get into the packs, actually. So I'm going to put those to the side there. i put Dodonzo there, which I'll be putting in the back in a second. So yeah, this is a booster bundle. Um, I think they're pretty new. They're sort of, they started with Scarlet and Violet, I think. You could technically get these with pre-release kits, I think. But they also came with like that, like, pre-constructed deck, so they're not exactly the same. But, they, I mean, they come in the same kind of box, so I think it... Aha! So that's like the outer thing that... Oh, that's really nice, actually. So it's kind of a little bit, not exactly like a deck box, but, you know, it, it sort of... It looks similar. Uh, so, let's open it up, and we have... It is just six packs, I do believe. Three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to go put everything to the side now. We'll uh, get onto the packs in a sec. All right, so I've laid them all out. Uh, so we have three each of the legendaries, uh, and then so I'm going to work out in mathematical order because uh, that's what everyone is here for, presumably. Uh, and I guess Pokemon cards as a side as well. So good thing with these uh, packs is obviously they are all ready in video appropriate uh, order, so we don't have to shuffle. So we got a Squawker Billy. Uh, oh, a Capsa Kit. I don't think... I, I am missing like a weird amount of like commons and uncommons from this set. Alamomola. We've got a Pomo. I did pull a um, full art uh, Pomo uh, last time. That was very cool. Got a Heracross, a Defiance Band. We've got a Drift Blim. The first reverse is an Energy Retrieval. Very cool. Oh, I forgot to pull the Energy. Okay, we'll see that last again. Yes, we've got a reverse Star League, everyone get hype! And our rare uh, is an Indeedy. I believe I have this, uh, but I'm not sure. And there's a Psychic Energy. Uh, I'll remember to do the Energy in the next pack, or I won't. Next up is Garados. Oh yeah, we got... Th Wait, no, hang on. I Good Lord, I'm sorry viewers. I've lied to you. I've made the wrong thing. We've actually got two of each. Uh, right, well, let's just start from the left then, shall we? So it is the starter trio. Um, I did open some Paldea Evolved packs off video. Uh, it was on Discord with some friends. Uh, shout out Tim and Tom, who are maybe watching this video. Um, I did get the Alt Art um, Fue Coco in the shopping cart. That was really cute. The energy is dark. Let's begin with a Prime Ape, a Pomi, oh, look at that cute boy. We've got a Tarantula, a Riolu, I, yeah, I don't think I pulled that one either. See, there's lots of like random ones that I definitely didn't pull. Rock Chest Plate, I got that. We got a Satitan, we got a uh, Sleepy Flappy. Oh, we got a Dun. hang on, is that... Wait, is that not a promo then? Oh, that is a promo because that's that's a different, it's a different pose. Okay, I'm an idiot. Uh, disregard me, but that was a reverse hollow Dodonzo. We've got a reverse hollow Varum, and ooh, hey, our rare is a Slowbro. Definitely don't have this card. 
That is very cool. I love the art there. That is, uh, yeah. I'm not going to put them in the back because I'm reserving that for EX and above. But, you know, it's uh, it's definitely probably my best pull so far out of two packs, which isn't difficult to get. On to the Muraidon pack, the second of the Muraidon packs. Uh, I'm just going to decimate this one. The packs open a lot nicer as well with these sets, which... You know, kudos to the Pokemon Company for, you know, doing that. We've got Squawvet, uh, Tim's favourite card. Shout out, Tim. We've got Charcadet. I believe, actually, fun fact, Tim owns every Squawvet card uh, printed so far. We've got a Lechonk. We've got a Starly. A Spiritomb in the snow, just like... I, I hope he's not too cold. Uh, we've got an Ultra Ball. Just realised I haven't done the energy, so the energy is psychic. I'm, I'm glad I hadn't, actually, because otherwise I'd have been pulling up the rare. We've got Espartha. Definitely don't have that card either. Espartha's pretty cool. I like the design. Hey, we've got a Lucario. Very nice. Uh, reverse. We've got a Reverse Defiance Band. Let's go. Uh, shout out all the Defiance Band fans in the chat. And we've got a Bonnet EX. Very nice. It's got that sparkle that I love about these new EXs. That is very cool. And I go sleeve this and put her in the background. All right, I'm back. Uh, so on to the Curidon pack. So we are a third of the way through. We pulled an EX, pretty good uh, so far. Kind of hoping maybe for full art, but again, I'm not sure how common they are. Maybe I just got super lucky in the last episode, uh, or maybe I am just very uh, unlucky here. We've got Steel Energy. Uh, to the side, and let's begin with a Growlithe. Hey, a Shuppet to go with the Bonetti X. Hey, Tandemouse. <laughs> oh, very cute. Hey, Smoliv. Very cute. Ah, okay, that, that wasn't very uh, good. We've got a Floatal recreating the cover of that, um, uh, the, the Nirvana album. We've got uh, Team Star Grunt. Oh, well, Grunt, technically. Okay, a non reverse Hollow Lucario this time. But we do have a reverse monkey. Uh, very, very cool, actually. Next up, we have a reverse ponyard. Cool. And, <laughs> man, okay, we've pulled a second Hollow Dodonzo. Fair enough. There you go. Well, um, you can never have too many Dodonzo. There is three of them in this video so far. That is kind of high odds, but, you know, I, I like him. All right, on to the Gyarados pack. Now, I did get that really nice alt art Gyarados in the last video as well, if you remember. So that, um, I think there's a few other cards with that design with a, like, white background and, like, sort of traditional Japanese art kind of style going on. I'd say it's grass. No, it's steel. Okay. We've got Pokemon Catcher. Nice to see it back again. We've got a Clauncher. A Dolliv. We are Quaxley, look at that duck. The epic as hell Pachirisu. We've got the Picnic Basket. We've got a Bombardier. Definitely don't have that card either, I don't think. Hey, a reverse Smoliv to go with that Dolliv we pulled. A reverse Surviper. Uh, you know, kind of kind of cool. I like Surviper. Ooh, let's go. We've got Full Art Jack. Uh, I think... I think, uh, if you're watching this, Tim, I think you're quite a fan of him, maybe? Or maybe you're not. Maybe I'm confusing him with another teacher. Let's go! All right, full art. That is uh, pretty nice. I'm going to go sleeve him. I'll be right back. All right, that back row is looking pretty good now. Uh, if we can get one more really nice pull, that would be cool. Um, if we get two more, I am going to have to move Dodonzo, because we are running out of room. Uh, I may make this a like regular feature in the videos because it's it's aesthetically pretty good. Our energy is fighting, so let's begin with a Powell Pand, uh, a Flababy, a Toxel. So a lot of these commons are you know they're, you're gonna see them a lot. Uh, Routes, uh, Electric Generator, but the uncommons have a weirdly uh, small amount of. We have Wug Trio, uh, Judge. Hey, everybody's favourite. Uh, we've got Switch, looking pretty cool. A Reverse Hollow Rats, 
Uh, sorry, the switch was reversed as well, I guess. Uh, and we've got an armor rouge, which I think is a double. But again, I will take it in the pursuit for cool cards like the ones in the back. Uh, so we're down to three packs. We are two thirds the way through. Is this where Fate has kept all the cool alt arts and secret rares? Maybe, uh, or maybe I just really fluked with that Elite Trainer box because I was under the impression they were like, I don't know, like one in five or one in, you know, I was going to say one in eight packs, but then I guess if that is the case, then it's still got time. Uh, right, our, our energy is fighting. Oh, two steals and two fightings in a row. That is weird. We've got a Shepherd. Another Tandem Mouse, very cute. Another Smoliv. We've got a Primip. Yeah, I've pulled two there, sorry. A Flamigo. Fortress. I like Fortress. He's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a Rocky Helmet. A Rotom. Uh, oh, he's up by that one of those towers you can climb in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, we've got a Toad School, who's too cool for Toads. No, that doesn't work. And we ah, we have a Hollow Cloth. I don't think I have any Cloth cards, so there you go. Am I a big fan of him? No, not not really. His designs, his designs fine. Uh, but you know, I'm sure there's lots of cloth fans. Uh, actually, when I started playing the game, I was under the impression that cloth evolved, um, and I was absolutely convinced in my head. I haven't seen any leaks or anything. But I was convinced in my head he would evolve into something called clawful, um, and it never happened. He doesn't evolve. It's like, he looks like the first stage Pokemon of an evolution line. Uh, and I stick with that, so I don't know, maybe in the future they'll make an evolution. Our energy is grass. There you go. So, let's begin our penultimate pack with Zangoose. Another really cool uh, card. Got a Cro... Oh, I don't think I have that Krogunk. There you go. We got Dedene. We have a Curlio in a cave. No, no, a forest. Okay. Uh, we've got a Mezagosa, uh, which is one of the places you go to. Defiance Band, good lord, that's the third one we've pulled, I think. Hey, Tatsugiri, he's cool. I wonder if they have each of the colours, because there's like different colour versions, aren't there? We've got a Citadel, um, a Reverse Hollow, and a shiny one, just like the one that Tom caught recently. Shout out Tom if you're watching this. We've got a, a Reverse Hollow Metagosa. Okay, very cool. And our rare is Annihilate, who is a very cool Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I love that they've actually done something with the Primeape line, because uh, it was a bit of a forgotten thing, really. Like, I, I, always, I have a soft spot for fighting Pokemon. They're all just, like, really cool. Okay, it is down to the last pack. Our pulls haven't been quite as crazy as last video. But that they could change completely with this pack. Um, I could pull whatever the most expensive card in this set is, which I don't think is going to be all that expensive. Because um, a friend of the channel, Corey, uh, did open the Paldea Evolved booster box on Discord a while ago. Uh, and he managed to pull the Iono full art card that everyone's chasing. And that was, that, that was like... Fairly reasonable, like £85 or something, which compared to other sets is like very reasonable. So I don't imagine they're going to be super expensive. Anyway, we've got a, another Tarantula. That's a different artwork. Okay, I'm not complaining though. We've got a Wattrel. I don't think I have that card either. We've got a Crocker. Crocker. I'm not, I'm not recognising any of these. Okay, Monkey. I think we pulled that Monkey before. We've got Alvin, what I'd be full art of. We've got Cactus. Yeah, wow. What is with this last pack? There's loads of cards I've never seen before. Uh, apart from Mesa Goza, I guess. I definitely have seen that. Uh, we've got a Reverse Holo Primeape. Can the last card be something hype? Oh, shit, son. Okay. Tarantula. <laughs> Let's go. <kill. laughs> oh, look at that dude. Just, like, chilling in his... Uh, tree with its scythe. Oh, that's scythe. Oh, is scythe. What's scythe doing? Is he like. Is he gonna cut it down? Oh, what? Because he looks. Okay, that's interesting. That is very nice, actually. Uh, I'll definitely be putting that in the background. And our rare. Oh, is it Coraidon? There you go. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put uh, Tarantula in the background. I'm gonna wrap up.
Alright, so a final look at all the pulls we got today. I've taken Dizonzo away because it's a promo. But yeah, pretty pretty darn good. And a nice variety, actually. I pulled another EX, uh, which is cool. I've pulled a full art trainer card, which is very cool. And I think they're called, like, illustration galleries or something. It's like the trainer galleries from previous sets, but they're just chucked in with the secret rares now. Because that is a secret rare. It's 199 or 198. But yeah, very cool. Overall... Those were some very nice pulls. Uh, and you know what else was nice? The fact that you guys stuck around. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I will be doing other videos in the future. I think there's the new uh, uh, Obsidian Blaze, or Darkness Ablaze, or whatever the new set is called, uh, is out soon. Uh, I have pre-ordered some 151 stuff. Well, just neatly train trainer box, but that'll be September. But I will be doing more Pokemon stuff in the future, along with some statues and figure reviews and stuff. So... Stick around for that, uh, or don't, you don't have to. Um, but regardless, thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.